Story RH, the podcast that makes a long story short. Welcome to all. History is made of stories. In this episode, we'll be talking about digital technologies and the employee experience. The gap between the quality of the user experience employees enjoy in their everyday lives and the quality of the tools that HR makes available to them is growing steadily. But, while digital has undoubtedly contributed to an increase in employee expectations, it may also be part of the solution for HR departments. How can HR use digital technologies to meet the expectations of its in-house customers? What's the story? As consumers, we are increasingly used to a level of service that delivers instant and immediate results. We've gotten used to add a watt, anytime, anywhere, any device, to increasingly user-friendly interfaces to the gamification of our environment and to the ability to share our opinion on everything whenever we like thanks to social networks. And we quite naturally expect the same quality experience as employees at a company. So, we're really talking about the employee experience here. And that's where HR has a role to play. In fact, its legitimacy as a service provider for all employees depends on it. The HR department must not only ensure that the service is provided, but also that it's provided to a satisfactory level for its end user. Exactly. So it's unthinkable for an HR department to skimp on user experience with a purely technical and administrative tool. And customer satisfaction begins with the tools made available to them. You're right. The tools need to be in line with the company's values and with the employee's minimum expectations. And in concrete terms, it's about the quality of the interfaces, but also the accessibility of functions in line with everyday practices. For example, the ability to file vacation requests via smartphone, access the network outside the office, and more. But it's also about HR's ability to establish a dialogue with its customers, who now think it's perfectly normal to share their opinion via likes and comments. The era in which HR thought about its processes alone in a corner, in an ivory tower of sorts, is long gone. Human resources departments must now ensure that their processes take the democratization of digital technologies into consideration via three basic requirements. First, by choosing experimental action over technocratic considerations, processes are not set in stone. They can evolve to improve the service for internal customers, and continuous improvement should be the goal. The second requirement is to maintain ties with employees by implementing proactive communications initiatives, for example, to keep them up to date about projects and progress. But it's also about letting employees express themselves. That's the third requirement. They need to have the opportunity to speak out, to share their ideas and opinions. To recap, digital technologies have revolutionized the way we see the world as consumers, so it's only natural that it has impacted our expectations for employers as well. Since HR departments truly need to meet employees' expectations regarding the services they provide, it's in their best interest to provide an optimal digital experience for employees. Is that right? Exactly right. Way to make a long story short. Story RH, the podcast that makes a long story short.